Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog and today I'm going to make a special type of flip book. Hey, webcam Vivian interrupting this video once again. I'm not going to make this a um, standard thing in my videos, I promise. But I want to say something because I'm going to explain in a second what, I'm, what this video is going to be about. But there is a change in that because after I did this, after I filmed both the tutorial and the decorating, I realized that this video was very long. So I asked on Instagram, make it one video or do a separate video where you have one video of the tutorial and the other video of the decorating. And most of the people said separate them. So I decided to cut this video and um, in a second I will say that I'm first going to do the that I'm first going to show you my pen pals mail, but I'm going to cut that out, move that to the second video, and then this video will be just the tutorial. I hope that helps. In the second video, you're going to see my pen pals mail and the decorating. Okay. <laughs> I haven't actually figured out how I want to call the flip book. I was thinking something like a pocket flip book, but you will see what I'm going to do very, very soon. This video will be existing of three different parts. First, I'm going to show you um, my pen pal Jenny's mail to me, which I will be replying to. The second part of this video will be a tutorial for this flip book something that I have in mind. <laughs> And then the third part of this video will be me decorating and filling up this flipbook and probably I will do that with a voiceover as well. Now we're on to the actual tutorial and I wanted to use this paper pad because I haven't used it nearly at all. Um, this is a paper pad from Action. Let me see the brand. The brand is Craft Sensations. And the reason why I picked this paper pad is because it's single-sided paper. You could also use double-sided, but it's not really necessary because um, we're going to fold it like that. So then you do still see a little bit of the inside, but it's also totally... I think it will be okay if you use um, single-sided paper. This is my letter and it needs to fit in there. So that's the only guideline I have. But if you don't have a guideline like me, you can just make it as big or as small as you like. So just use my tutorial and then make it your own. I'm just gonna pick out a paper. And um, what I'm using, and I wanna clarify that this is what I am using, and it doesn't mean that you have to use the same thing. Um, you can make it any size you want. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Maybe I don't even like the size I'm creating because this is my literally my first time ever making this. And I'm also using a scoreboard. If you don't have a scoreboard, you can simply fold it. That will be enough as well. So I use 12 by 12 paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, score it or fold it at exactly the middle, so six inches. And first thing you want to do is um, see if your paper has a certain direction. Maybe this should be up or this should be up. I don't know. Just look at your paper and see which side you want to be up and which side you want to be down. But at this point, it doesn't really matter yet. So you have the six inch fold line and then we're going to turn it. And then we're going to uh, find the middle again. So again, six inches would be my middle. If you're using a 10 inch paper, that would obviously be five inches, but just find the middle twice. <laughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to fold it up and fold it in half again. That's a little bit harder than I anticipated. We're just gonna try scoring it again. So what I'm doing now is I'm making sure it is um, folded nice and tight. Okay, there we go. And if you have the same problem as me, that a little bit of paper is sticking out the side, I suggest we just trim that off because the rest of this uh, flipbook doesn't have precise measurements anyway. So 
So we're just going to trim off the excess. And this is why I love a scoreboard. It makes it so much easier, but if you don't have a scoreboard, you can obviously use scissors and a ruler. I think I already said this, but I have linked all of the products down below. I have a craft stash link for all of my European uh, viewers or people from the UK. And I have an Amazon link for people from other parts of the world. So, <laughs> okay, I think I... Okay, there we go. I'm just looking at, I want these little leaves to be facing upwards. So I'm just going to flip this around, I think. I'm doing great at this tutorial thing, aren't I? I'm realizing that the middle here is too thick. So in order to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a tiny sliver. Okay, so first we're going to look at what you want your front of the flipbook to be. So I want this to be my front. And mind you, the opening is uh, facing upwards and to the right. Yes, so this is what it looks. We're going to close this later on, but first we're going to fix this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little piece out of the middle. Again, the opening is facing upwards. You don't have to do this. If you're using thinner paper, this might not be necessary for you, but my paper is too thick for me to effectively um, close the flip. So I'm just going to take out a little part just of the bottom half. I hope that I'm not confusing you all. So we're just taking like millimeter or half a centimeter or we're just taking a small part out of the middle so i'm just taking a small part out of the middle let me see i think i need to take out a little bit more or does this work i think this works So as you can see, I cut out a little piece of in the middle. I think I cut out around one eighth, one eighth, eighth of an inch. And now, as you can see, the flip book closes a little bit easier. Okay, my flip book keeps getting smaller and smaller. But if this tutorial was perfect, I would now have a six by six inch uh, flip book. It's slightly smaller, but that's going to be all good. So we have our front, we have our middle with the two loose flaps and we have the back and now we're going to um, put it like this in front of us and what we're going to do is we're going to make these two into pockets these two flaps we're going to turn into pockets so hmm, much needed coffee break there for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to use this um, very very strong double-sided type I don't think I would usually I need something that is this strong because this is really really strong um, but it's red and that way I can really easily show you where I'm putting glue so like I said we're going to turn these two into pockets um, I want to put glue on all three sides no oops I almost oh my god I almost ruined this tutorial I wanted to tell you that you have to put glue on all three sides but if I would put glue here obviously it wouldn't be a pocket anymore so we're going to put glue on these two sides and then these two sides as well um, before I do that however I'm going to use one of my trusty paper quenches if you don't have one of these you can use scissors or you can use um, what you could even do is tr trace a circle trace a circle here and then cut it out with scissors or a knife or whatever doesn't matter just as long as you take out a little piece there and why I'm doing that is so that my pen pal realizes that it's a pocket so I'm going to try and put it in the middle so we have three inches there I'm just eyeballing this as usual let me see just taking a teeny tiny part out of the top there and then on the other side as well. Now, ideally, I would be using the same pot. But I'm afraid I don't need to match. So, 
they're not exactly the same but oh, it's good enough for me so this is what i said about why one why single sided paper would be perfect the only thing you're going to see of um, the background is this little spot so i think if you would use white paper like me that should be totally fine so now we're going to turn this into pockets by gluing these down So now we have our little pockets. I really think this is going to be a pocket flip book. If you have a better name, if you come up with a better name, please leave it in a comment down below. And if one of you do does come up with a better name, I will give you a shout out in the next video. <laughs> so we have our little pockets. Um, I of course did glue them down flat. And normally I would have put a little piece of paper in between um, to make the pockets a little bit wider but because i wanted it to really be a card or a flip book and not these really bulky pockets i decided to glue them down flat so now we have two pockets and they're kind of hidden which i like now my one criteria was that my letter had to fit in there and i am kind of worried that it's going to be too too bulky but it should fit Oh, oh my gosh, it's like meant to be. It perfect. It fits in here perfectly. So my day has been made. Um, so yeah, that is it. Um, for gluing down the pockets, I think you can use any type of glue you like. Like I said, I only use this really, really strong glue because it is red and I could show you where I was gluing. But I think you can use wet glue, stick glue. Um, I think you could even staple it if you like, it doesn't really matter, um, as long as it's kind of flat, I guess. Of course you could also make this bulky, but I have decided to make this a flat mail tutorial. Hmm. Now, this is all there is to this tutorial. What you could do is make this book multiple pages, which would be kind of awesome, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, because I wanted to show you a simple and kind of lightweight, flat way to send your pen pal a few goodies. Um, the rest of this video will be me showing you how I'm decorating this with music in the background and a uh, voiceover. <laughs> so I hope you'll enjoy. Let me know in a comment down below if you enjoy these type of tutorials. I really hope you do. <laughs> Okay, so as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this was the tutorial part and the decorating will be in a separate video. Um, I will link it down below and I hope you're going to check that out as well. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye! <laughs>